Watch this video with our virtual reality glasses for a smartphone. Virtualvisor.com Hey, I'm Dr. Jan Ansai, CEO of Virtualvisor.com and I'm here in Berlin at the IFA 2016, Europe's biggest trade fair for electronics and virtual reality is huge here. And in this 360 degree video, we will show you all of the VR companies and all of their new hot VR products. So let's go. One here, one here, one here, and one infrared camera, which lets the phone see, like you can see the world through, like basically through a human's eyes. What you can do, for example, so this camera detects the surroundings, and now you can, you can go to AR mode, augmented reality. So you can place, with this function, you can place digital objects into the real world and they will interact. For example, now we're going to place a little dog in here. You can see it from different angles. It's just like, just like in the room. You can go closer. Yeah, Alright, hey everyone, this is the HDK2, a VR headset co developed by Razer. As you can see over here, it's basically got a 2160 by 1200 dual display panel, runs at 90 hertz, got an RGB panel, so it's really crisp, clear graphics. It plays OSVR and Steam VR content, so basically any games that run on the Vive will run on this headset. And lastly, it's open source. You can take it apart, you can swap it, optics, visuals, anything of that sort to get the VR experience that you want. It's currently retailing for 500 euros on Razer Store. Okay. Thanks. Okay.
Hi, I'm Dr. John Ansai, CEO of VirtualVisor.com, and I'm now at the Alcatel stand at the IFA 2016. And um, they have one 360 degree camera and also one headset called Vision, which looks like this. I just tried it. It's similar to the Gear VR. The refresh rate, the latency, and the image quality, the resolution is very similar to the Gear VR, but the head mount is much more comfortable because it is attached to the head like this. This is how you wear it. And it basically touches your forehead, just like the PlayStation VR headset and like the virtual visor, which also only touches your forehead and does not press the whole headset against your face like the other kind of ski goggle type VR glasses are doing. The price is kind of high, a couple of hundred euros, they told me, but um, it will be released at the beginning of 2017. And uh, I guess this is not the final version, but it's very promising. It runs with cardboard apps, so you don't need any special apps. And uh, yeah, have a look at the design. It's uh, very big, I think, a little bulky. So, yeah, but it's a good alternative to the Gear VR. Okay, that's it. Bye. Hi, welcome to the Sennheiser booth, and I'm happy to present the brand new VR mic from Sennheiser. Uh, the principle of the VR mic is, is very simple. It just works like a 360 camera in acoustics. So you have one spot, like with this camera, where you record the sound at this one spot, and then the sound is converted, digitized, converted into the binaural format. It's embedded into the video, and what you end up with, that is a AV file where you look at and you see what you, uh, what you see, and you also listen into that direction. If you turn around, you, you always get the, uh, the sound where the sound is and not just the same sound wherever you look at. So it is very simple to, to be explained what it does with these four captures. It just works like a 360 camera in audio. Hey, welcome to Dodo. So um, we're from China. Uh, we are a, a new team. We focus on the new uh, VR gears. We're a geek, a group of geeks. And this is a V1. See? It's the uh, most lightest and slimmest VR gear we create in the world so far. And the VR can connect with the PC like Oculus and HTC Vive. And also, you can uh, the V1 can also connect to our uh, 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 smartphone like portable station. We call it P1, and they are released in the end of the year. So, see you guys soon. Okay, thank you. My nose well, so my yes. nose is too long, I think. I think it needs to be adjusted. Yeah. It's designed for Chinese, so. And then I prefer 3D, so this is 2D, I prefer 3D. But it's great, the resolution is good, uh, very light, uh, great job. Thank you, the national audience. Thank you for joining us here on EVA 2016. We're in the media on Lenovo gaming area, and yes, we have plenty of activities to find out the HSC Vive. And of course, the Oculus Rift here with this beautiful short animation. We should definitely on this. And if you want to become a space pirate, you're very well invited to try a training program here in the VR room. It's a great training model. Um, it was very good, uh, very fun. How did you like it? Oh, very cool, very nice product, and um, it's a good product. Oh. Okay. Okay.
Thank you very much. Hi everyone, we are from XMG, Schenker Technologies from Leipzig. And, um... For over 10 years we've been building high-end gaming notebooks, but this time we will put it to the next level. It's a VR backpack, the XMG Walker. I can't believe it, it's so amazing. <laughs> it's got a GTX 1070, so it's VR ready. It's got an Core i7 processor and it's got two batteries. Yes, and they are hot swappable, meaning um, you can plug them out and uh, continue playing. And with those batteries, you can play up to one hour and just change them. You can play it again and again, and that's what we present here on iPad. Yeah, and you get a second battery pack included. So you can just play up to two hours without the interruption. Yes, and uh, we have it in shop available at um, by October. Yep, at xmg.gg slash xmg minus walker or at mysn.eu. Yeah, depending on what shop you want to uh, choose. And um, the price will be around 4,800 euros. Am but I that's including a 250 gigabyte SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and of course the mention for i7 and GTX 10. And four battery packs. So you get the full package and um, can you can play in large scale, that's a special thing uh, of our XMG Walker. So it works best with the HTC Vive, and it's just 3.8 kilograms, so you can just wear it all day if you want to have your computer on the go. <laughs> yes, and that's it. So we say hi from IFA and enjoy uh, yeah, virtual reality with XMG Walker. Check out xmg.gg, like us on Facebook. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>
virtual reality and augmented reality stargazing uh, binocular to uh, look, look up in the sky, to explore the sky, the real sky com combined with uh, dig digital information. So uh, this is our new uh, stargazing binocular. And if you look, if you look inside this device, you if you look inside this device, you see um, display and also um, your stars and constellations. And if you look uh, with your eyes in the sky, you uh, can combine these uh, digital information with the real sky. It's the only headset that can do this. We're making the micro drone. So this is the micro drone 3.0 here at EFA. It's got a magnetic uh, camera module, which snaps on like that, which streams video to your smartphone. So you get your smartphone and you put it into any VR viewer. I've got this one here, so you can use your VB and uh, the micro drone 3.0, so you can see with your um, smartphone when it's placed there. And then you can also um, use your smartphone to play it as well as um, see the video. Little bumpers so you can um, protect it when you're flying, so you can, um, you can touch blades and it won't hit you. And also, you've got a handset so you can use your smartphone to control or your professional handset. So, this is your handset, you can um, put it into slow, fast, or insane mode. That's uh, my favorite. Always put it into insane mode. Um, you've got a modular design, so if you crash it, all the parts are easy to fix. So you can just unplug it like that. So, you can just change the parts, put them back together again. All the parts are available on the website. Click back together again, and then you can, um, yeah, just have fun. Just grab a controller, switch it on, switch it on, yay, on the fly. So fly around, really close, like that, around here. Oh, there it is, going okay, around this way, going around this way, oh, again. Fly around, around, around. So, like you're doing three point out. Whoa. And um, the battery is um, a cartridge, like a camera battery, so um, it's got the magnetic terminals on the, on the bottom, and then the, um, the other side clicks onto the camera like this, on the drone like this, and then the camera snaps on magnets. It's very, very easy. Find out. You're good to go. So, hello from Berlin, and uh, yeah, go and check out VV and uh, get a micro drone to work with it. So, um, here we're doing a, a walkthrough of the micro drone app. So, launch the app. And you've got some uh, learning videos to learn how to fly. So tap that and you can see the videos. Then you've got the fly screen to fly and um, see the video. Then you've got the review screen to see the, um, the videos and photos stored on your phone. So tap fly screen and you'll see it's connected now. So I'll just turn that over there. So you've got the touch screen to, to fly the drone. That's the left, right, forward and backwards. So that's up to left and right. Then you've got the uh, full screen for the, um, for the transmitter. There's Chris over there, he's looking grumpy. Then you've got the double screen for the VR viewer. So you've got the double screen over there. So you can put it into any VR headset. So that's the video. Take a photo like that. Start and stop for uh, recording a video. Then you go into the review screen and you can see the video from the, um, from the phone. So um, here's a few I recorded earlier. You can just scroll through those and see it. That was recorded earlier. Take a drone selfie, which is fun. You can share it with social media, so you can put it to Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp, all these various social medias. And that's it. And where can we buy the micro drone and how micro much is it? Microdrone.co.uk. Go ahead and buy one and use the coupon code STREAMLIVE25. Great, thanks.